Good afternoon, Fairview Elementary. I hope this video finds you well. I'm sure you have seen Dr. Kincaid's email about our online distance learning starting on Monday, and I know there are a lot of questions, but I'm sure we will be ready to move forward based on everything we have discussed so far and what we covered in our faculty meeting last week. As we prepare for our new adventure with our students, I need to note that this is all very new to all of us, and I'm sure there are a lot of questions. But I know that with your guidance, we're going to get through this and become better and stronger in how we deliver instruction. Remember, this will be a lot for some of us, and we all need to work together to make this as simple as possible, not only for our students, but for our fellow teachers. I decided to make this video instead of creating a long lengthy email so sit back and relax and let's talk about some of the specifics so we can all be on the same page moving forward. First, as we begin to think about creating an online environment for our students, I would like to address our mindset. We have to remember these are unprecedented times. We did not ask for it and certainly our students didn't either. I know the vast majority of our students want to be here in the classrooms with you. With that being said, we have to think differently and do things differently than we have before. First, we have to remember our job is to teach and to provide meaning instruction for our students. That is why we're here. But to do this, again, we have to do this in a different environment and do things differently. Next, you are not going to be able to address the same content as you normally would. And this is okay. Remember, our main focus should be getting students reading lengthy passages, comprehending, and getting them writing and doing math. You also have to remember that online activities will take longer than those done in a face-to-face -face environment. As we create online experiences, we don't want students working for 8 to 10 hours a day, and we need to scale back the experiences that we ask of students. That means we may not get to all the concepts, and with that being said, we also have to understand that there may be many gaps in our students' learning, and next year we have to be okay with that. However, I'm sure that with this staff, we can reduce those gaps as much as possible through our creative and engaging tasks. In addition, the state just notified us that the PSSA will be canceled for this year, so we don't have the pressure to get all those concepts covered, which is good news. And lastly, we need to be thinking about, as we discussed at our faculty meeting, creating modules that last two to three days. I think if we stretch it out to five or ten day modules, it may be too much for students. Since this is a new environment, we are going to have to be grading differently. As a district, we met administratively and came to the agreement that all students, K-12, to will be graded on a pass or fail basis. Let's think about what that means. You are going to have your assignments like you normally do and grade them as you normally do. However, in the past, if the score would have been 70 to 100, you're going to put 100% in the grade book, or if you use a total point system, you're going to scale that accordingly. If in the past you've scored something from 1 to 69, the child's score will be 69. If a child doesn't submit anything, they will get a 0. But remember, in both the 0 and the fail category of grading, our goal is to look for competencies. We are not in the same reality as we were weeks ago. So we need to look for competency. So if someone submits something that does not meet your standards, go ahead, ask them to fix it, and resubmit. We need to be very flexible in this as we know that students don't always have the same advantages as other students. This is an unlevel playing field. And we need to make sure that we're providing as much assistance to students as possible. We cannot assume that that is happening at home.
and remember, always err on the side of helping students and giving them opportunities to achieve success. Always remember, do the right thing and work to help students through this difficult time. And as always, don't hesitate to contact Julie or myself with any questions. We are here for you and to help you through this. But always remember, we need to give students what they need and work to do the right thing. And I can't think of a better group to make that happen. I know our time is limited in creating content for the week, but hope each team can make this happen as flawlessly as you do in the classroom setting. Again, we are always here. Don't hesitate to call me directly on my cell phone and look forward to hopefully seeing you in a few weeks. Take care and stay healthy.